Today, everybody, I want to talk about the search for the good job. Watching people spend their time in a job that brings so little enjoyment can be frustrating, even baffling. As the clock ticks on your time on this earth, it's truly unfortunate to do that which you don't enjoy, that which leaves you without a sense of pride and accomplishment and where you've spent so much of your time. There are some who say that they're in a job they dislike because they have little choice. They may have a family to support or they may not have the qualifications for a more rewarding job. Their job opportunities are not plentiful in their community. They may not have the time to search for another job or they're too stubborn to reassess the skills and retrain for a different job. Or they find it simply too easy and irresistible to blame someone else for their fate. It is a neat trick. Lack the time, be stubborn, and blame someone else for the choices that you have made. These excuses are temporary at best because I honestly believe we live in a country where someone can change their circumstances and the trajectory of their life. Eventually, the stark reality appears to be that you controlled your own destiny and you wasted that opportunity. You can choose a different lifestyle that allows you to gain the qualifications necessary for a higher job. This may require considerable financial and social sacrifices to return to college or to invest your entire life savings in some sort of risky adventure or business or to move to where job opportunities are more plentiful. But it can be done. Great accomplishments and great rewards, as I often say, usually come from great sacrifice. It's a risk that people must take if they're to achieve something worthwhile and meaningful in their lives. You see, jobs do more than provide people the means to support themselves and their families with food, shelter, and clothing. Jobs afford individuals a chance to seek fun and adventure, whether that's through travel, such as cars, trains, and automobiles, and airplanes, or recreation, tennis, reading, football, just to name a few. Jobs present one with the chance of a better life, to live in a better home in a better neighborhood, or to go to a better school or college. Some believe that those without a good job have a difficult time to obtain one. Those who have a job become more concerned with maintaining their current one rather than looking for the promise or searching for that better one. It is the good job that can afford a person with the opportunity not just to participate in society, but also to contribute their unique talents and skills, to offer a sense of hope and promise that tomorrow will be better than yesterday, and to develop a sense of self-respect and self-worth that a person truly matters in this world. Such is the value of a job. We find and keep the good job by working hard, being a likable person, and overcoming the challenges along our path. And it is these traits that help build the sense of community from which a good society grows. These traits, combined with initiative, drive, ambition, and courage, allow people to triumph over their own self-doubts and society's established culture to realize their dreams. It's what brought millions of immigrants to the United States. The hope and promise of something better. It has become more challenging, though, to some. They ask, why work hard today if there's little reward for what comes next? And what they're doing today isn't going to be rewarded next year. Why save money today if you have less money in five years? Why sacrifice your time to become educated and obtain broader experiences if that effort does not afford you greater opportunities? That light shone for, gen shone for generations, but its flame has now lost its flicker for some. In some ways, the dwindling light of hope has had a profound impact, not just on ourselves, not just on our jobs, but our community. In times past, instability was a characteristic of the young as they began their journey through the often treacherous waters of life with little experience and confidence. In any generation, though, finding a job, finding what you're meant to do, was a challenging task. Centuries ago, that problem was solved when children just worked for their parents. Today, though, that option is becoming increasingly foreign, and people must find their own jobs, must find their own way. It can be done, and once obtained, the presence of finding the good job can not only transform one's life, but the society in which we all live, because we benefit from good people finding a good job and doing good things. And if the good job cannot be found at one point or another, it will in the near future, because good people and good employees are those that like their jobs, like their professions, and like their industries. And they never falter, never fail in their pursuit of something better. 
These are the people who never give in or never give up, who take responsibility for their future and do something to change the direction of their life. We live in an admirable country, one where you can always improve your position or status through hard work, diligence, and dedication. It simply takes the will and the ambition to take advantage of your own possibilities in this life. Thanks, everyone.